Hello, can you see me? It's like dark. So it's midnight. So I used, okay, before, before, okay. Before, a long time ago, I used to wake up at 5.30 and that was my morning routine. And now I wake up at midnight and three and six and that's what I do. I gotta wake up at all those times because I have to pump because my baby needs food and I have to give it to her. And so, so I have my little setup right here. I have my, my breast pump right here. They attach to the breast pump and I've got like a bunch of them right here that are clean and ready to go. And then when I'm done with them, I'll put in here, the ones that get dirty. And then I have this tiny little refrigerator to put the milk, like open it up. And then it's like cold inside. I can put the milk right in here. So anyway, that's what I do. And it's been midnight and three and six and not 5.30 anymore. <laughs> But sometime soon, we'll go back to that. So anyway, I guess that's it for now. I'm just gonna do what I gotta do and I'll see you at three. Are you awake? Boo. I have the coolest bed for pumping every three hours. Like, sits me up for me. <laughs> I guess here we go again. It's nice that there's so much light. <laughs> You're welcome. Do you want me to get up every morning at three to Shine some light on this procedure. Usually I'm just using like the flashlight on my phone. Okay, gotta do what I gotta do. I guess you can go back to bed. So it is six o'clock and it is morning now. So it's time to get up. Six o'clock pumping, here I come. Okay, so 6 a.m. pumping is done. And in the morning, I like to do mm, my prayers, scriptures, and journal. And I can still do all that from my bed, from my phone. Well, not the prayer, but it does work like a phone. So I'll say my prayers and I'll read my scriptures on my phone. I've got my gospel library app. You too can have your scriptures on your phone. Exodus 25. And for my journal, I'll usually like write it on my computer and stuff. But right now I can just email myself like a little snippet of journal. And that's how I'm that's how I'm keeping up on my journals, even though I'm not doing everything like in the normal way. I'm just doing everything the way that we can do it. Hi I never talked about it, but I have this super coolest bed. And it can just pop me up a little so that I can be up a little and not have to prep for too much effort to get up to pop three times in the night. So. Well, the bed raises your feet up a bunch too, which has made them skinny. Skinny, which you haven't had in a long time. I know, ever since I've been paralyzed, I've had like plump little swollen feet, you know, so for like 18 years. And then to get, um, for this baby and, and actually it was this pregnancy, it was so hard. We got this bed that can like come up and stuff and it makes my feet go up, makes my head go up, all kinds of different positions and stuff. And so now I have little skinny feet. You should show me beautiful skinny feet. So it's about seven o'clock and I'm going to wake up with Actually, he's awake and he's filming this because he's amazing, but usually he's still sleeping. 
I've got to like rush up and do makeup if I'm going to have makeup on today. I really, really get one chance to do it because if I miss this chance and everything just keeps popping up, you know, there's children that wake up early, there's <laughs> lunches to be made, there's breakfast to be made, there's phone calls to take, lots of stuff. So if I want to have makeup on, I got to do it really quick. So Daisy woke up extra early today and Daisy put on makeup also. She is a good makeup butter on. Daisy, come show us your makeup. Come here. What are you hiding from? That's Go the back you. of your hair. Go show your awesome makeup with your, with your, um. Turn your face makeup. around. <laughs> Let's see your face. That pretty face. Turn around. Turn Daisy around. Daisy knows how to do blush. Woo! Look at that. Yeah, you look so good. You're ready for the day, Daisy? Yeah. So if Daisy wants makeup, if I want makeup, we gotta put on first thing. <laughs> so we bought three sets of these to make it easier to pump at night. So because the baby's in the NICU, we, we pump them and they pump some milk and then I'll wash them each morning to get ready for, for more pumpings throughout the day. So we really gotta dry this stuff because we almost learned the real hard way that it'll kill your pump. So we weren't drying them very well and the pump started sucking water in and it just about killed the motor. But took the blow dryer to it and we got it cleared out. So now we're gonna make sure we always just really dry this stuff before using it again. Did you go get Zula? Yeah. Ready? She's still sleeping. You're still awake. You wake up so late. You got early. up early, Daisy, and got so dressed? Early. Daisy, did you do your prayer scriptures and make your bed yet? Did you make your bed? Let's run, get Zula, Save and we'll prayers. do all our stuff. Do your scriptures? Awake. We gotta get ready for school. Yeah. I gotta make your bed, say your prayers. Come on, Zula, get up. Yeah. Hurry, Bye. say your prayers, do your stuff. What are you making for breakfast today? We're gonna do the big pancake. My family always called it the big pancake. The big pancake? But, ugh, you guys call it German. We got a new fridge. Brand new fridge. I'm still figuring out how to open it. It's like a learning curve. Mm -hmm. I put the bag underneath my little glass jar pitcher so then it catches the egg drips so I don't have to clean up the cutting board and I can put my eggshells there. Why are you licking your fingers? So that I can get a grip on the egg. Otherwise my hands are too dry and it slips right off them. And 
And then I can do the isolation method, just in case I get shells. My fingers are actually really dry. Like, my fingers often are not recognized on iPhones and stuff, just because they're so dry, they just don't have enough personality in them, I guess. <laughs> like, I don't know, I didn't really like that before. Okay, so this is the big pancake or German pancake recipe with six eggs. It's got, I have this memorized, it's six eggs, one cup of flour, one cup of milk. Anybody who wants a recipe, that's it. A pinch of salt, and this is a recipe that I learned in like seventh or eighth grade junior high cooking class. And side note, Meg, we went to the same junior high. <laughs> But My friend Lydia. Meg, wait, wait, Meg was oh. a year younger than me in school. And so she was a year younger, but she was, she was way too cool for me. That's too cool for me too. She was way too cool for, for talking to me or knowing who even I was. And I <laughs> actually didn't know who you were either, but. But my friend Lydia, she had a crush on him. She told me that it's the over in her backyard when we were in a tent. <laughs> She's and you're like, like who? You know, Johnson? I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah, we went to the same junior high school, but not the same high school. The recipe also needs butter, and our girls want their own individual pancakes. So we do these two, huh? Those two little babies. Put the oven on 450, melt some butter in your pan. While it's cooking, melting, stir this up. Put a timer on for 12 minutes. Um, I need a new fork and plate. And I need a new fork. We are very particular in this house. I should have had them set the table. Which fork did you choose? This one. That one? Which fork did you choose? This one, and how come you chose that plate, Daisy? Because um, I don't like the, the syrup. Here's somebody's. Let's do that. Ooh, ooh. Yum! You got room? Yes. Cut it, please. Whoa, it's like a syrup bowl. Like a bread bowl, but it's a pancake bowl. His brother did rise up in rebellion against him, by which he did bring him into captivity. And he did remain in captivity all his days, and he begat sons and daughters in captivity. And in his old age he begat Levi, and he died. <laughs> Johnson's on three. One, two, three. Have a good day. Bye. Did you just put the whole thing in your mouth? <laughs> well, let's go for a music then, even. We should clean that little locker out, huh? No. Do you need me to help you? Hold on. There you go. Daisy's in Let's Play Music, second year. First year. <laughs> first year, second, Se semester. second semester. of the first year. Let's play Three Blind Mice, ready? Uh, I woke up at 5.30, you can see that. 
Um, but now I wake up at midnight and three and six and school day routine's a little bit different now, a little bit different with the baby. And no matter what it is, no matter how hard it is, no matter how hard it is to wake up, oh, okay. And then I get you that no matter what, when life gets to where you stand, just keep on rolling, right? Right?